plus four parts strengthen your body, your mind, and your spirit. Be proud of yourself and the uniform you now wear. Right now, we're doing the combat fitness test. It's two laps, you understand? Yes, sir. Ready? Go. Stretch now. Measuring their strength, see how, they, how they're performing on that. Get up! Run! 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 Crawl, crawl, crawl. It's important for the recruits to experience because this is their first time in recruit training. This is the first time they're learning about the Marines. And for us to throw this on them and, and have them train like this, it, it gets in their mindset that this is, you know, it's not just about them anymore. It's not me, I, it's us. It's about Marines, Brotherhood. We also have the Senior Drill Instructor Inspection. Basically, we, we get to see their attention to detail as far as our uniforms, as far as our cleanliness of weapons, and just the knowledge that we've, we've instilled in them since the moment they picked up on us in Fox Company. In Alpha Company's fourth training week, they are introduced to the basic swim qualification portion of their training. The swim qualification introduces basic water survival skills beginning with a 25 meter swim. A leap from a 10 foot tower simulating the abandonment of a ship and swimming to safety. This is followed by a 50 meter swim utilizing a main pack. The recruits also have to strip themselves of gear underwater in 10 seconds or less. Lastly, they must float or tread water for four minutes. The recruits are supervised at all times by drill instructors who attended the Marine Corps Water Survival School. Although the majority of boot camp is focused on land-based training, combat water survival is not only one of seven graduation requirements, but critical to learn for an amphibious force. It was designed to raise recruits' self-confidence, reduce fear, and ensure they can survive in water. Alpha Company's fifth week of training, the recruits received a final uniform issue and fitting, which includes the service and dress blue uniforms. If a recruit received the meritorious promotion while at training or through a contract, they'll have the appropriate rank applied to their uniforms at this time. Upon the new foundation we build at the start of recruit training, we are taught to uphold our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and to eventually maintain our pride upon completing the transformation into Marine. This alone starts with the uniform we are proud to wear. During Team Week, recruits are escorted around the base to assist with daily tasks and various work sections. This encourages recruits to work independently with minimal supervision as small unit leaders and transitioning to become a basically trained Marine. Of course, every Marine is a rifleman, but also Marines are amphibious. That's our 25 meter swing, the four minute float, the drop from the tower, to turn you, overcome your fear of heights, but also initial PFT, test your strength as well as now a pull ups, the crunches, and the three mile run. Pack up the food of the house and we move up to Camp Pelton, which moves into the second phase, which is right in March the ship. During their six week of training, recruits applied basic bayonet techniques on the bayonet assault course and in the pugil sticks arena. The assault course tests their ability to crawl, run, and stab through a simulated battlefield. During pugil sticks, recruits were paired by weight, given protective equipment, and pitted against one another using only techniques taught while aboard the deep end. The recruits also conducted a practical application evaluation. 
recruits had to demonstrate their knowledge of the M16 A4 service rifle, Marine Corps uniforms, customs, traditions, and regulations, and basic life-saving techniques. Pick up the weapon! Sight in! Provide security! Mission accomplished! Aye, sir! Recruits took the Marine Corps Martial Art Program test to attain their tango. High block! High block! Ready! Execute! Throughout training, recruits steadily learned various rifle techniques, throws, takedowns, and chokes to prepare for the test. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this gives a little bit of insight of what it takes to become a United States Marine. If you liked the video, please check out some more over here. Until next time, Simplify, Devil Dogs.